Sunny and I'm back. I'm Salim Khan studying 5th standard and today we have the question number 3rd and 4th from subjective questions of basic mathematics from mechanics for J, Main and Advanced. As we know what question number 3rd and 4th are. So first we are going to solve the question number 3rd. So here our solution will start for question number 3rd. So now what is our question number 3rd? That find approximate value of tan 3 degree. This we have what we have? approximate value of 10 3 degree this we have okay it's approximate value we have to find out so first for that we need to convert this degree in radian so how we convert degree in radian we multiply the degree by pi by 180 degree so we can see that tan 3 degree equals to we can write first we can write tan letter 3 into one into pi divided by 180 degree now tan what we have tan 3 degree equals to tan 3 into pi by 180 degree this we have now tan 3 into pi by 180 degree is nearly approximately equals to simply 3 into pi by 180 degree and approximate value we have to find out so this we can write as 3 into pi by 180 degree this we can write now while evaluating this what we are getting final answer that is 0 0.052 so the answer is that tan 3 degree is approximately equals to 0 0.052 this is the answer for third now we'll solve the question number fourth so fourth first part fourth question is that which of the following values are positive some values okay trigonometric ratios have been given to us some values okay so of some angles now we have to tell whether they are positive or not so here we have one graph okay for fourth question okay this graph is telling whether this if it is telling whether they will be positive or not any trigonometric ratio if it lies in first okay so all will be positive all trigonometric ratio in second so sin theta cosec theta are positive in third only tan and cot are positive and in fourth cos and theta cos theta and sec theta are positive a we have what is a cos 120 degree we have cos 120 degree now we have to tell whether cos 120 degree is positive or negative okay if it will be positive so answer may be cos 120 degree now so we have to check whether it in which quadrant it lies okay from here now from 90 degree to 180 degree what we have it lies between the range of 90 degree to 180 degree we can see here of course it lies but why it is such because we can see here that from 90 to 180 degree it comes between them okay cos 120 degree it lies between 90 and 180 so what is its range 90 degree to 180 degree okay and we can see that if it lies between 90 and 180 so it lies between the second quadrant so here we have and in second quadrant we can see that only sin theta and cosec theta are positive but in second okay quadrant we can see that cos theta is negative okay cos theta is always negative in second quadrant so we can see that cos 120 is negative so this number is not positive so this is negative so the answer is that cos 120 degree is negative b we can see here now we'll solve for b that is sin 210 degree okay and first we'll have to check whether in which quadrant this number lies okay so we have sin 210 degree now b will solve here fourth b sin 200 10 degree this we have sin 210 degree so we can see what is range of sin 210 degree from 180 degree and 270 degree because it lies between 180 degree and 270 degree okay what is its range 180 degree to 270 degree this we have and between those what is which quadrant is that is third quadrant so it lies between third quadrant okay that is third quadrant this we have third quadrant and in third quadrant what we have that only sine theta and okay only tan theta and cot theta are positive okay and other all trigonometric ratios are negative but this is sine 210 degree means this is sine theta here we have sine theta but we need if, if we have to make it positive so we need tan theta or cot theta so we can say that actually sine 210 degree is negative okay sine 210 degree is negative okay so this is also not our answer now next we can see now we'll solve for c okay c or we can say now we'll solve for third 
so here we have finally c is that tan 240 degree okay c we can write or third we can write fourth third okay we can write here tan 240 degree this we have tan 240 degree now in which quadrant it lies so we can see here it also lies in third quadrant because it lies between range of 180 degree to 270 degree okay 180 degree to 270 degree this we have now here we can see that it lies between third quadrant and in third quadrant always tan theta and cot theta are positive and this is tan theta tan 240 degree means tan theta okay so here tan theta and cot theta are positive so tan 240 degree is positive so we can say that tan 240 degree is a positive number this we have now is all for the last question of fourth question number fourth that is cos 315 degree and we have to check whether it is positive or not cos 315 degree in which quadrant it lies it lies between 270 degree and 360 degree okay it is 270 degree to 300 60 degree this we have now we have to check where in which quadrant it lies so let me inform you it lies in fourth quadrant so we can write it lies in fourth quadrant this we have now what we can say and in fourth quadrant cos theta and sec theta are always positive all other trigonometric ratios are negative but this is cos theta cos 315 degree means cos theta and cos theta is positive so we can write that actually cos 315 degree is also a positive number so the answer is that first and second are negative and third and fourth is positive so this was my today's topic thank you